Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 3DS VC review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Kirby's Pinball Land, which if you've never played it before, it's a pinball game. Um, you might have saw my Sonic review recently where I said I was using my brother's 3DS and it's games that he bought that I didn't. Uh, this one, it's not simply because I didn't think it would be a good game like with the Sonic game. This one is just simply because I heard it was a very short game and it's uh, it's one of those, it is actually a well made game and I actually quite enjoyed the time I had with it but it is a very very short game and I think for the price that you're paying for it you should be looking into getting longer games but for those who are interested it's a pinball game and you get three boards and each board has three sections and then you get a boss section as well and you've got to be able to beat the boss section in order to move on to the next table and there's bonus games you can play like you can play a game of football or soccer if you'd rather where you have to fire the balls into the net you can do a bonus game where you have to fire uh, candy fruits well not so much fruits but candy cakes things like that at Kirby whilst avoiding bombs um, as you might have just saw there, it's not your average pinball game with the fact that when you lose a ball, you lose a ball, you get a second chance and it's one of those you've just got to time it right and you'll fire up and you can actually fire really high up as well if you do it well enough, you can fire up to pretty much the top tier. Um, and it's just one of those, it's uh, not a regular pinball game, it's a regular video game pinball game, which will sound daft as saying that, but anyone who's played a Metroid Prime pinball or Pokemon pinball or anything like that will know, it's one of those that instead of having just bumpers to hit and going for high scores, it's a bit of an adventure game, you've got enemies to kill, you've got things to do, you, and it's just one of those. That if you like those sorts of games, and this is pretty good, it's just, as I say, from my own valuation, I don't think it's worth the money for how short it is. Because you'll probably beat the tables once, maybe twice each, and then never go back to it again. Um, musically, it sounds good. It sounds like a good Kirby game. Graphically, it looks decent, but... It, it's just, again, it all boils down to the price you're paying for the amount of content you're getting. And there's some people saying you can have it knacked thoroughly in half an hour. There's other people saying it's taking them a couple of hours. And it's just one of those. I think for all you're paying for it, that's just not good enough when you can get a Zelda title on the Game Boy or something like that that lasts a hell of a lot longer. I mean, Donkey Kong 94, as it's known in the States, is just Donkey Kong over here on the Game Boy. That is absolutely monstrous, and it's the same price as this, you know? It, I think it's mental to say that this is good value when you've got games like that. But that is pretty much all I can say. It's not a bad game, it's just a short game. So, I suppose until next time when I use his 3DS, that's me done.
So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.